Hi and welcome to this next tutorial in my video series on how to use Flex within the Unreal Engine. So today we're gonna uh, talk about how to to manipulate the containers. If you saw my previous video uh, on containers, you know that the containers control the behavior of uh, the Flex uh, systems. So if you look here, we can hold G to disable gravity. We can freeze the flex. We can uh, proceed to raise cohesion. And what we're going to be looking at is how to uh, manipulate this at runtime. If you have the um, the flex uh, test um, um, project that came with the Flex uh, Unreal Engine uh, integration, you can open the Flex Mixed test map and look at the blueprint, the level blueprint. So uh, let's go over what happens here. Um, on events begin play, we take uh, the Flex Sphere. Let's see what that is. This one. This is the Flex Sphere. And if we look at what container it has, it has the Flex Mix container, but so does everything else in the scene have the same container applied to it. Um, so the Flex test container, uh, mixed container, is um, set up to be able to handle both fluids, uh, rigids, and cloth. This is actually a cloth ball. Um, so they can interact. Now we want to change some properties in this. Let's just locate it and let's see how it looks. So max velocity, for example, we could change that at runtime to have the particles move either slower or faster. In this map, we set them uh, set the speed to zero, and this way we freeze the flex. It could be if you want to stop time or anything like that. Um, so. What we do first is we get the uh, a reference to the flex sphere in the in the in the um, level blueprint. Then we get the component by class, and uh, component by uh, the component class has to be flex component. And then we get the container template. Uh, put it into a variable. And from the container template, we get the value gravity, and then we set a, a, a value called original gravity, uh, so that we can go back to the way gravity was when we began. Then we get max velocity, and set that into a variable, and again cohesion. This means we have uh, variables with the container, so we don't have to do this bit all the time. Then we have the original gravity, original max velocity, and original cohesion. Um, now, if you want to check your scene that um, all your uh, objects, your flex objects, um, have the same container applied, you can go through this bit over here where if the particle system does not have the same flex container, um, then you can have some warnings, or print some warnings. So when I press G, what do I want to do? Well, I get the flex container. I look at the uh, gravity, the current gravity. And if it's not equal to with uh, within a margin, of course, the original gravity, I set the gravity to zero. If, uh, if they are equal, I set the gravity to zero. If they're not equal, I set the gravity to original gravity, returning it back to normal. Let's see how this looks. So I hold G, set gravity to zero, and let go, and gravity returns to normal. And the same 
when you hold V down, if you want to change the velocity, you uh, get the flex container, you get the max velocity value, and if it's equal to the original max velocity value, um, then we set max velocity to zero. If they're not equal, we set the uh, max velocity to the original. And if we look at how that looks, you can see that the particles here are, are not moving. You can move them around, but they will be as still as possible. And since we are spawning more uh, particles here, they will, of course, move. But uh, so you can't set the speed and think that you can, for example, jump onto these particles. It's not possible. And lastly, if you want to change the cohesion value, you um, get the current cohesion compared to the original cohesion, and then either set the cohesion to one or to the original original cohesion. This way, you can change uh, any value of the flex mix container that you'd like. Uh, doing this in runtime. All right. Um, so, for example, if we look at the flex mix container, and let's see if you wanted raise dampening, for example, we could go in and instead of getting the cohesion, we could say get damping and we have to create a value for let's call it original damping and set that at the beginning and then we compare them wrong wrong sorry and plug this in here and then um, in the container let's do it like this um, we want to set damping and we want to set that to a value of one if this one is true and if it's not true, we want to set damping to the original value that we had before, like this. All right, let's see what kind of effect we get. So it's not that obvious what damping does, but if you saw my previous video, um, the particles won't bounce as much. Let's look at this um, particle emitter over here. I hold down C, and you can see that it dampens the particles. They don't move as much as they did before. And if I release, you can see that it spews them out again at a faster pace. All right. That was it for this video. See you in the next one.